Welcome back to another video guys out here today with the all new 2021 Kimco 450i. Now I wanted to show you guys this for quite a while. It's a little dirty. We've been running it around. So before we get into it, as always, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Don't miss more to come. Make sure you stay tuned. Lots to go on the farm here. Now this is not your name brand side by side. It's not a Kawasaki mule. It's not a Can-Am or anything like that. But Kimco, I guess it's been around for a while. I did a little bit of research on it and for what we needed on the farm and the availability. This has worked out great for us so far. We've had it for quite a while. We'll dive into the dashboard look at the hours the mileage and all of that overall we really liked it we needed something we could get out here on the farm fix some fence throw some hay bales do basic farm chores we are not going to be off-roading with this we're not mudding we're not doing anything like that so this has just been working great for us here on the front as you can see we have headlights it has high beams low beams and they work very well we have some side marker lighting i really like it it's led i wish the main bulbs were led as well but i do like the lighting it's very bright we're gonna be getting some light bars maybe a 12 inch mount it down in here there is a little bit of storage as well as the battery underneath but it's not very easy to get to now this is independent suspension it has disc brakes all the way around it is fuel injected and everything seems pretty easy to access other than some of the compartments which we'll look at as we move around it does have a two inch receiver which is really nice been dragging some trees around hooking up some trailers a couple plastic trim pieces if you do some heavy off-roading they probably won't last very long and once again independent suspension and disc brakes all the way around now it does have a little compartment in the back here not very much storage but it kind of folds down you can get a couple items in here as well as the tilt bit The bed does come with a nice rubber liner so we're not dinging and scratching up the metal. A couple tie downs which are nice on each side and standard latch gate on both sides. Drops it down. Kimco logo on the mat which is nice and you can pull it out to get and clean underneath. Lots of hay because this is our main feeding vehicle for the donkeys. And in order to tilt it, take your latch, flip it and it is an assisted dump bed so we pop the hood off real quick just set it down it is not easy the storage compartments that are located under the seat and located under the front hood including the battery are just not easy accessible now that's because of the locking pins that hold it on which on the side of things is very good because the hood does not move when it's in position but down in here we do have the radiator the fluid and the storage box in the front with two little clips which includes the battery and some tools so it's pretty cozy on the inside there's plenty of room i'm about five six and there's plenty of leg room now it does have tilt steering so we can lift it and go up and down which is a huge help standard ignition switch it has a cvt transmission we have park reverse neutral high and low really nice to have it does have engine braking as well 12 volt power it does have a seat belt light and like i mentioned when we were at the front of the vehicle it has some extra positions for light switch light bars winch switch anything of that nature it's got a good decent sized glove box two cup holders on both sides storage compartment below your shifter here on the left side of the steering wheel you do have your light selector so you have your low beams high beams parking lights and then right below that you have your four-wheel drive selector two-wheel drive four-wheel drive and you can lock it now this does have a locked rear diff i'm not a huge fan of that because it tears up the yard too tight of a turn in a soft environment in the gravel driveway you can notice when it turns around i've seen some youtube videos there's not very many on this but the ones they, that they are they say they perform pretty well on a trail which i'm sure they do it's been a great machine for us so far so let's get it fired up here and take a look at the dash starts up pretty well now on the screen itself we got to have the engine running to see everything here but we have our rpm gauge we have our digital fuel gauges miles per hour and then 152 miles is what we've been on this we have 47.4 engine hours and like i mentioned all that is backlit when you turn the lights on 
under the seat storage here it's pretty nice seats not too bad to take on and off and we have a nice big dry bin right here simply take it off and it's pretty deep Stick the whole lid in there goes pretty far back so we have that one and then there's an open lid on that side and that's where we have those cargo nets for the doors we got those stored in there easy engine access but otherwise that is it so this has just been a great machine for us so far. I'm really happy with it considering what it is, the Kimco brand. It's been doing very well and the price point is not bad. This is around $79.99. Now we looked at some mules that were around that $89, so another thousand dollars you can get a mule. But once again, you have to be able to find them. The closest one that I found was in another state and I really didn't want to drive and get it. This was here local. We have a local dealer. They can do all the service work on it, which obviously we're gonna be doing most of it. And we're gonna see how well it holds up. We drive it every single day, morning and night, feeding animals, fixing fences. So if you wanna see it do anything, let me know. Now we have not done a top speed run on this. We have had it up to about 30 to 35, but that's as far as we've taken it so far it does great on the road tires everything does really good otherwise that's all i got for you make sure you like make sure you subscribe and we'll see you on the next video